today I want to show you the new OS tree functionality in Cockpit that lets you do software updates on Atomic Host. This is a development version of uh, Cockpit, version 0 0.88, and let me log in here. So you'll see that there's a new tab here called Software Updates, or a new section. And in addition, below the operating system, we can see that a specific version is listed. And if I click on that, I'll be taken to this timeline of the various software updates that the system can go through. Now, we this is a demo system. This cockpit-os3 package actually has to make it into Fedora Atomic Host um, and other Atomic Host distributions before this will actually work for users. So we have this these demo versions of the operating system, but you can kind of see that here we have the OS and here's the version. Um, if I click on packages, I can see all the RPMs that go into this operating system tree, into this version of the operating system. And like I said, normally this will say uh, 23.5 or something like that. This is a, uh, a demo tree, so it has a weird name. And here I can see an older version of the operating system. So this is the one I'm running. And down here you can see a previous version. So this one's <laughs> from 16 minutes ago. This one's from four days ago. And you can see that this actually, um, there's a diff. There's a difference between these two. And the diff is four packages have been removed. So if I move from here to here, four packages will be gone. And three packages will have changed. There are, so let's look at what those are. You can see that these, for example, are the ones that have changed. And in our case, oh, look, something's updating. And this is actually a really cool feature of Cockpit. Um, I'm actually executing RPM OS tree commands um, from a command line tool. And the UI is reacting. So right now, um, another system is actually performing an update uh, from this running system to this updating system here. And you can see my U UI actually reflected that, and we're showing that the update is taking effect. So this could be a, man a management console or a central uh, uh, configuration management system that's applying these updates to the nodes. And if you're logged in, you'll, of course, see things happen. So while that's happening, it'll take a minute. Oh, here we can see that actually here is a, uh, 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 another diff. So from the one that we're running to the one that we're changing to, cockpit base one to cockpit base two, you'll see that um, there's been another package added here, um, a package has been removed, and so on. And now the server is rebooting. This is actually something that we could do better on um, in cockpit when the server reboots due to an action that's expected. We probably want to show a nicer dialog. Um, but when the system comes back, which it should shortly, We'll be running this operating system. That's how OS Tree works. You change atomically to a new OS, and then you reboot into it. So you never run a partially updated system. It's either the old or the new one. So now here I am, and we are running the this cockpit base two system. And the previous version that we are running is available here. Um, and we can, of course, see what the diff is. Um, and it's, it's the inverse of the one we saw earlier, obviously. Um, when we click Check for Updates, like I said, this is not actually integrated into uh, the Atomic Delivery, the Fedora Atomic Delivery Stream yet. So we don't yet have that. But soon, when users get to the point where they're seeing this UI, they should be able to retrieve updates, and then a new version would appear there. So let's roll back to this previous version um, by clicking here. And again, the system is being rebooted. One minute. There we go. And we're running this previous version. 
as expected. And of course, we can also switch to the latest one, update and reboot, back to the to the most recent one here. So there's a bit more to work on. Uh, be, uh, we should bring rebases into this UI where you can switch to a different uh, uh, stream. So we could switch from RHEL to CentOS to Fedora on the same system and try the different versions out. Um, we need to display the repositories where these things are coming from, the signatures of them. And like, as you see here, previous versions down here are kind of lost in this display. We really want to show them. We want to show the lineage of the operating system a little bit better in this timeline. But the initial work is there, and I'm really glad that Peter and Colin and Matthew um, have worked so hard to get us this far. And here we go, the last reboot of the system. Still happening. Let's try to reconnect. And there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Take care.